How are you cool cobras doing today? So, I am waiting for my Trailblazer bacon cheeseburger video to upload. And I got to keep the screen awake. Otherwise, it goes to sleep and it slows down the uploading process. So... I'm still uploading that. Now I poured the last of my vodka into this cup and squizzled a little bit of water on top of it. Keep in mind it wasn't a very big bottle, but there you go. It's got spray paint on it because I'm trying to get that wand to stain white so that way yeah, of course, if I'd have bought more expensive spray paint, but it's whatever. If I gotta paint it in multiple coats, so mote it be, I guess. But, uh, but right now I have the black wand and the white wand that need to be handled. It's not that much vodka, it's like that much left. Well, whatever was left in my bottle last night with a little bit of water on top. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good comment. We're prying to alt. I guess not for a king. <laughs> I don't see myself as a king. It's just a stage name. King Cobra GFS, yeah. <laughs> uh, I tell you, if I won the lottery, I'd, I'd have to get a Mustang because Mustangs are sweet. Get me a Cobra Mustang. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Taste my vodka. <laughs> With the Viper Tech. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Taste the vodka, he says. <laughs> oh. Well, this Trailblazer bacon cheeseburger, that was some pretty good shit, man. I'm not going to lie. That, that burger was pretty dank. But before I get into eating that, I need to eat the last of my pizza so I'm not wasting my food. I made this pizza the other day, and I got like one piece left. I don't want to waste food, so this will be my breakfast. Yeah, buddy. Uh, hopefully that video uploads soon, because... Uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, man, I'm in a good mood this morning. <laughs> uh, shit. Nobody likes hearing I told you so, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh. 
<laughs> kind of unhealthy, but yeah, my point exactly. You got one life. Live it and enjoy it for every second. Mm. Did y'all hear the um, crossover? Bring Me to the Horizon featured Danny Filth. That's pretty fucking sick, dude. Hell yeah. Awesome song, by the way. Uh, after I get done eating this pizza, I'm going to put handles on these here wands that are right in front of me. Mm. You know, truth be told, yeah. I may have only had sex with seven different chicks, and I may have only had this dry spell for about 11 months, but I'm not complaining. Nope. I am not complaining, man. There are bigger problems. And then you hear people say, oh, you need to get laid. Well, no shit. Thanks for reminding me, asshole. <laughs> uh. I mean, I don't know why it's so difficult for me to get some pussy. Oh, wait, it's the Casper dating scene. Shit. No, beyond that, just some companionship, you know? Mm. That could very well change that could very well change though when I get my wands done. Mm. I could end up getting some female companionship when I get my wands done. You never know. Life is full of surprises. The age-old debate. The age-old debate. One piece or two piece? <laughs> I guess it depends on, you know, the, uh, what you're into, you know? Me personally, I guess when it comes to a female's bathing suit, you know, for like swimming and stuff, I think both are sexy. You know what I'm saying? Like I think a one piece and a two piece bathing suit can flatter a woman's curves. It really don't, you know what I'm saying? It really depends on what you're into though, you know? Some women prefer one pieces, some women prefer, you know, yeah. I mean, if, if a woman looks good, it doesn't matter what kind of bathing suit she wears when she's going to the beach or going to the pool. Straight up. If a woman looks good, then it ain't going to matter if she's wearing a one-piece or a two-piece bathing suit because she's still going to look good either way. <laughs> yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? I mean, shit. Some women prefer wearing a one-piece over a two-piece. Nothing wrong with that. That's pretty awesome, you know? Yeah. I 
remember one time I went to the pool with my girlfriend, and um, <laughs> one time I went to the pool with the girlfriend I had at the time, and she was wearing a one piece, and she looked damn sexy in it too. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah. Oof. Really? Uh, well, that's typical. Thinking back to that trip to the pool, and look who decided to join the party. God damn it. And this is why I hate being a guy sometimes. <laughs> Boners. <laughs> Straight up. No. Oh. Some of the girls I dated were pretty cute, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you know, let me tell you something. Don't cheat on your girlfriend. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm getting to the point where I can kind of forgive myself for doing it, but at the same time, I still completely can't, you know? I had a good thing going with Stephanie, and I royally fucked that up. You know, she's already found somebody that's made her happy, so that's all I can say at this point, you know. And if she's happy, then I'm happy for her. That's the best way to look at it. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, if you learn from your mistakes, you know, like I'm not proud of it. You know, I was younger and stupider and, yeah. I know when you, when you haven't, okay, your, your first time having sex, and if you're a guy, it can be a real confidence changer. You go from being told no by every chick you like to all of a sudden, hey, here's a cute chick who's giving you the time of the day. You know, it can be a confidence changer. I know a lot of guys like to brag when they get pussy or when they get a girlfriend, but for me, it's not even like that. The reason why I brag when I have a girlfriend, it's not because of the sex, it's because I have a girlfriend. And people who have autism or some sort of mental disorder or social awkwardness, people like that have a harder time on the dating scene. So, you know, and my motto for the dating scene, Facebook, is I don't care how shitty the woman treats you, you always treat women with respect. I don't care how much of a cunt she's being to you. It doesn't matter. I don't care how big of a cunt she's being to you. It don't matter. You treat women with respect, period. And if you want to learn how to be a true gentleman, I can teach you the way. Because nothing, and I mean nothing, fucks with people harder than when they're being an asshole to you and you return their assholeness with kindness. Oh yeah, that shit fucks with people hard. Trust and believe. Like, if a woman's being a complete ass to you and you did nothing to deserve it, 
she's just going off of her typical chauvinistic female views. And here's the thing, fellas. As soon as you respond to her bullshit, you get played off as, oh, you're just a typical male. It's, a, it's unfair, but it's the truth. As soon as you respond to any sort of negative antics from any sort of female, like if a female is being a bitch to you and you respond to it by being a, an asshole and a bitch right back to her, she looks at you and says, oh, you're just a typical male. You're just a typical male, blah, 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 blah. So that doesn't help you. As a dude, that kind of shit does not help you. So, believe me, I know it's tough. When people are assholes to me, my first instinct is to be a huge asshole right back to them. You know what I'm saying? And only the problem is, when I'm an asshole, I go too far with it. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit it. When I'm an asshole, I go too far with it. I could be such an asshole to somebody that I make them hate their life. I make them hate me and I make them cry. I've made people cry because of how mean I get. And do you think I like getting that mean? No, I don't. I really don't. But when people are pushing my buttons, and sometimes I go too far, I'll admit that. And, oh man, I could tell you stories of the people I made cry because they had the gall to talk some shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to be fair, being bullied my entire life in school and on social media has made me a bit defensive. It doesn't justify my shitty actions, but... Like, I, the level of which I get bullied on social media has made me a bit of an asshole. You know, I, I used to be somewhat of a nice guy, and I still am a nice guy, but I keep my social circle very small. Very small. My point exactly, Chris. Chris Hubble says... You can be someone's best friend or their worst enemy. Yeah. 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 My point exactly. <laughs> My freaking point exactly. Mm. I got both windows open, wide open, as I am spray painting wands. Oh good, about 14 minutes remaining until the Trailblazer Bacon Cheeseburger starts processing. First it has to upload, and then once it's uploaded to YouTube, then it processes. And processing goes a lot quicker. I might just do the Bacon S'mores Cheeseburger here in a bit, as soon as, as, soon as that video is done uploading. A lot of people are going to be looking forward to that. Uh, and I might as well do the cooking video live on Facebook, too. That way you all can see it before it hits YouTube. Ooh. Excuse me. Mm. Did you all catch Monday Night Football with the Atlanta Falcons? versus the New York Giants. That was a close game, but the Atlanta Falcons won by three points. 
It was 20 to 23. I'm happy that my team won. I like the Atlanta Falcons. That's my favorite football team. And they kicked ass in that game. I tell you what, they were playing at the uh, Atlanta Falcons Stadium. <sighs> and uh, the Giants put on one hell of a good game. So that's what's up. It's kind of funny, too, when I'm watching a Falcons game. It's kind of funny when I'm watching a Falcons game and I hear someone shout, that's Gothic King Cobra's favorite football team. Fuck mass shootings. And I'm like, yeah, dude, yeah. Straight up, when I'm listening or watching the Falcons play football and I hear people shout, that's Gothic King Cobra's favorite football team. Fuck mass shootings. I'm like, yeah. Now, if I analyze this, I figured out why I have a hard time on the dating scene. My confidence, my temper, and those are the first two things. And I've been working on my temper. At least when I flip out, I de-escalate a lot more quickly. I don't just continue flipping out about it for 10 minutes straight. You know what I'm saying? So my temper is getting better. And my confidence is definitely getting better. I'm starting to see things in a different light. You know, even if I can't get laid in the moment, the fact that I have so many chicks that watch my videos religiously, you know, it's, it's heartwarming. Oh, yes. The Trailblazer Bacon Cheeseburger is processing. <clears throat> so as soon as that uploads, if I'm in the mood to do it, I'll make the Bacon S'mores Cheeseburger and I'll make it live on Facebook while I'm filming it on QuickTime Player. Yeah. The trailblazer part. Well, I put blazed Doritos on top of a bacon cheeseburger that had jerky and mozzarella cheese on it. Yep. We're talking burger, bacon, jerky, mozzarella cheese, blazed Doritos with two pieces of toasted Texas toast. And it's a little bit spicy, I'm not gonna lie. We're talking, oh yeah, people, I put jerky and bacon on a burger and melted mozzarella cheese all over it. It's Tuesday the 23rd. Yeah. This one's kind of got like an elder wand. This one's kind of got that elder wand sort of look. That's what I was going for at least. That 
No, these wands ain't gonna finish themselves. I wanna ask that chick out for drinks here in town. They gotta get done. If you have at least 60 bucks for drinks, that's the way I like to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because bars are kind of expensive, and 60 bucks is definitely, for me personally, if I have it on hand, that's enough to buy a couple drinks. You know. But that's just how I am. Huh. Okay, good. There's still some excess on there. Good, good, good. There we go. <clears throat> Got two wands that need handles here. So that's what I'm doing. Wrapping the handles for the wands. Yeah, sex is nice, but female companionship is so much more meaningful, you know? The sex is just a bonus, really. Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna have to rewrap the handle because now it's coming loose. Fucking hate when it does this stupid shit. Ugh. Sometimes it does that, so you gotta unwrap it, untie it. Ugh. Yeah, no. Sometimes the handles don't want to wrap. You know, they're they, they like sometimes the handles. Sometimes the handles like to be stubborn. There we go. Now it's on there, nice and tight. So now I'm gonna put some glue on the knot. There we go.
that will hold the leather in place. While it dries, there we go. How's that burger recipe coming along? Oh, yeah, buddy. Two minutes remaining until the Trailblazer Bacon Cheeseburger video uploads. Just so you know. What else can you make besides dank food and wands? Good question. I can make awesome music because I am incredibly gifted with music. I love music. It's just a beautiful thing. Music is a gift to the universe and back. It doesn't matter what culture you're from. Music is a universal language that everybody understands. Pating. I'm being patinged. I'll answer that in a second. So we got a black wand, a white wand. Yippers. Offer in different colors. I know sometimes in life you're going to be asking yourself, man, can I just catch a break? Everybody feels like that at some point in their life. We all get that feeling where we we thought we found the one and they weren't the one, you know? It sucks. Sometimes being a human being sucks. You know, but maybe if you're having a hard time on the dating scene, don't let it discourage you from dating. You know, maybe take a couple months off from it to find yourself if you have to, you know. And just because, just because Facebook, you struggle with some me. Just because you struggle with something doesn't necessarily mean just because you struggle with something doesn't make you a failure. The thing you have to keep in mind is, especially when it comes to dating, if you're an attractive, if you're a physically good looking person, when it comes to dating, if you're physically attractive, don't sweat it. You're good looking. And people who are good looking always have an easier time on the dating scene. And by easier, I mean they have an easy time attracting 
the opposite sex. Doesn't necessarily make their experience more enjoyable because some guys are just total pigs. You know? And it's unfortunate because some of these girls that are out there that are super attractive are also super good people. They don't deserve it, you know? A lot of guys think, oh, just because she's attractive, I want to treat her like eye candy. Fuck that shit, dude. Fuck that shit. You know, just because your girlfriend's easy on the eyes don't mean you treat her like eye candy. You treat her, you treat her like you treat any other girl. You treat her like a goddess. You don't necessarily worship the ground she walks on. That's a bit far. But treat her with fucking respect. How hard is that, you know? I mean, it's the same principle for me. Just because I have a big dick doesn't mean I want to be treated like eye candy, you know? Like, just because I have big muscles and a big dick, that doesn't mean shit, you know? It basically means, yeah, I got some attractive qualities that some women would favor. It doesn't mean I want to be treated like eye candy. I'm a person with feelings. You know, and if I'm thinking like that, trust and believe women feel the same way. Just because she has big tits and a pretty face don't mean she want to be treated like eye candy. You know what I'm saying? If anything, those things are just a bonus. Yeah. Straight up. Come on, get on there. Yeah, I could charge more for my wands because they do work. The wands I make are real magic wands. But the reason why I don't charge more for my wands is because I want a fair price for me and for my customers. People should not have to pay an arm and a leg for a high quality real magic wand. Real magic wands at a reasonably affordable price. Considering that they're selling prop magic wands, yes, I said it, prop replicas, people are selling prop wands for the same exact price, if not more expensive. And some wands on Etsy are ridiculously expensive. So the reason why I don't charge more for my wands is because... I wouldn't feel right doing it. I want more money than simply make more wands.
Oh, for fuck's sake. Why won't you go in? Look, I'm trying to recap my glue, and it's not letting me. Hmm. Yes. The Trailblazer Bacon Cheeseburger video uploaded. Yeah. Buddy. Trailblazer bacon cheeseburger, it uploaded. <clears throat> What's crack a lack and fix? Go to YouTube, social media, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's up? Uh... Right now, I'm going to show you cool covers how to make a trailblazer burger. Uh, yeah, buddy. Cool beans, dude. Yeah. It is a good thought, yes, but here's the thing of it. They sell more quickly because people are testifying on Etsy saying things like, oh, you know, this wand has helped me out immensely and, you know, this and that. So when I'm getting... When I'm getting um, testimony from people on Etsy, you know, hmm, maybe there's too much glue in the lid. Hold on. That can happen sometimes when the glue dries up and gets in there. Well, as long as the lid's on there, then I guess it won't dry out completely. Cool. <clears throat> well, now that my Trailblazer Bacon Cheeseburger video has uploaded. Hmm. It might be time to do this bacon s'mores cheeseburger. Ooh. Hmm. Because that one piece of pizza was pretty good, but it wasn't necessarily filling. So give me a second here, and um, <clears throat> I'll do a cooking video for y'all on Facebook Live while I film it for YouTube. Would you like that? I'm sure a lot of you would love that. Bacon s'mores cheeseburger. Yeah. Hmm. 
Well, one cool thing about the cheaper spray paints is that if you don't do it in multiple coats, the, the wood's grain shows through, which is kind of cool. A lot of people like the clear wand look. Hmm. Hmm. I'll get the uh, stove turned on here in a bit. I found ways to deal with my Asperger's. That bowl was cashed anyway, man. But yeah, let me look at the um, stove turned on. That way I can make my burger. I don't know if you're prepared to witness this. This is going to be the most unhealthy burger you've ever seen in your life. I'm sure there are ways to make this burger even more unhealthy, but... I digress. This burger is going to be dang as fuck YouTube, Facebook. Now I'm hoping I can melt the marshmallow on top of the mozzarella cheese. So that when you bite into it, you get nothing but marshmallow and cheese pull. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. No, but when I spray paint wands in my apartment, I do it over the trash can or over my workbench so, so I don't get paint all over the floor. And then I open both windows so that there's some ventilation. You feel what I'm saying, tubes? Facebooks? Yeah. Having Asperger's is not easy, but I've managed to um, find ways to uh, deal with it. I smoke tobacco and I drink alcohol to, to manage my Asperger's. And I also use like personal experiences and you know, yeah. <laughs> All right. What is up, YouTube? I got you live on Facebook. And my bacon cheeseburger I just made, and I quote, it is the uh, 
Trailblazer Bacon Cheeseburger just uploaded to my channel. Wow, so much hate on the video. Fuck the haters. <laughs> One like and four dislikes. Hate is gonna hate. <laughs> four dislikes. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's that fucking number. <laughs> uh, anywho... I got you on camera here, both live on Facebook and on QuickTime Player, because I want to show you cool cobras how to make a s'mores bacon cheeseburger. I did not stutter. No, I did not. Sipping on a little bit of vodka and water. I had about this much left in my tiny bottle of vodka, so it was enough to fill the bottom half of this cup right here. And then I filled the rest up with water because I didn't have any soda pop to mix with it. So it works better than nothing. Back at it, getting them wands done. So let's see here. While our pan gets nice and hot, we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need some Texas toast, baby. Let's see, I need a plate. Every good patty melt that I make starts with delicious Texas toast. It provides a nice thick bite to your bread. So I want to show you all how to make what I think it'll be a delicious burger. I won't know until I try it, but the ingredients going on it are quite delicious. So... Yeah. Always keep your bread fresh. Twist it back up. Put the uh, little plastic thing back on there. Just bloop, like that. After you twist it up and push it back on there and let it untwist, that's how you properly close your bread. Or at least try to. Yeah. Butter, we need brown sugar. Now we're going to use this here brown sugar to season our thick cut bacon, our burger patties, or burger patty, I should say, and the bread. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get some country crock butter. We're going to butter both sides of our toast and then sprinkle on some of this brown sugar and then we're going to toast the buns on the pan. All right. And I dump some of this bacon grease out. I don't need all of it. Uh, all right. So first things first, we're going to get our brown sugar opened up. 
Now, I do apologize for making this in front of you. If you're on a diet, if you're vegan, you're a veggie, vegetarian, you don't like sweets, then don't watch. All righty. We got our brown sugar opened up. Something to split it, see butter. Oh, butter nice. Now they do have they do have bacon with brown sugar at the store, but it wasn't thick cut. You know what I'm saying? Thick cut bacon's where it's at. I, I don't get why people have to hate on cooking videos, but Fuck them. Here's our country crock butter. Classic original flavoring. Oh, look at that. Look at that fresh country crock made butter. Ooh, nice and creamy. Not a sponsor. So what I want to do, first thing I want to do is want to address the bun issue. And what I want to do, and what you do here, is you take and you put butter on your Texas toast, spread it around, just like that. And we're going to do this to both pieces on both sides. Get some of that country crock butter. And then you can use whatever butter you like. You want to use margarine. You want to use, I can't believe it's not butter. Well, I can. It says it right on the label. <laughs> no, but use whatever butter you like. It don't matter. Spread it on. And then we're gonna butter both sides of our bun here. I'm gonna butter both sides or yeah, try to butter both sides without you know what? There's a trick to this. Seems like it's all going on the same sandwich anyway. We'll go ahead and sandwich it. This way I can get the butter spread on there on both sides without getting the butter all over my hands. Yeah, there we go. Flip it. Put it back down on the plate here. Okay, that's what I like to see. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the sink.
Now, what you want to do is you take your buttered buns. Here, hold on. Son of a bitch, the butter's coming off. Get back on there. Get back on there. Uh, the butter's coming off on the plate, son of a bitch. Ah, let's not do that. Let's not lick butter off my hands. Okay. Just like that on both sides. Take a pinch of that brown sugar. And we're going to sprinkle it on top of our bun and on the bottom. Just like that. And we're going to put this side, this side down first. That's all right. We'll grab a fresh, clean plate. No big whoop. Now, there's a little bit of grease in the bottom of this pan from the last burger I cooked, so that's definitely going to add some nice flavor consistency. Take a look at the bun action on this. This is what it looked like so far. It's looking pretty good. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to cook up a burger patty. Beef burger patty to be exact. Put this butter back in the fridge. Put your a burger patty. A burger patty, we're going to season it with brown sugar. Take just a little bit of brown sugar. Kind of smear onto the burger patty there. There we go. And then we're going to do the same for the other side. Put the seasoned side down first.
while our burger cooks up, we're going to get that top bun ready. Now, while that burger cooks up, we're going to get our top bun ready. We need graham crackers, chocolate spread, and some Jif creamy peanut butter. If you're just tuning into Facebook Live, I'm filming a cooking video for YouTube showing you how to make a bacon s'mores cheeseburger. Little idea I came up with. I uh, take our classic creamy Jif peanut butter, and we're gonna take our top bun and we're gonna smear a gob of that on there, just like that. Just like that. Get the Perfect spread right there. There we go. Mm. 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 Hell yeah. That's pretty good. I'll throw this in the sink and get something different. There. Just spread. Go ahead and give that burger a flip. Yeah, buddy, all that brown sugar is going to caramelize onto the burger patty when it cooks. Oh. Next thing we're going to add to our s'mores burger is, of course, Oh, it's s'mores be without graham crackers, am I right? So we're gonna take, there we go, one graham cracker. We're gonna break it in half. And then we're going to put it on top of our peanut butter here, just like that. I mean, if you don't like s'mores sitting around a campfire, I don't know what's wrong with you. All right, maybe you can't have a campfire because it's too cold out. So next best thing. sugar is starting to cook to the side of the pan. And we'll 
we'll take our our thick cut bacon right here and we're gonna season it with brown sugar when we throw it in the pan. We'll do, that. we'll do about four slices of that Oscar Mayer thick cut bacon. There we go. I went and sprinkled some brown sugar on the bacon. Now we're done with the brown sugar. Go ahead and put it back in the cupboard. Here's that sexy sizzle action. You see the bacon? All coated with a little bit of brown sugar right there. Yeah, buddy. But here's the thing, YouTube. Here's the thing, YouTube. They already have bacon with brown sugar, but this is Oscar Mayer thick cut bacon with brown sugar added. So now you're getting the best of both worlds. Now, uh, where was I before I was mildly interrupted? Oh, yes. I say mildly because it was just a mild interruption. I had to address the burger patty, flip it, cook it, and get the bacon going. Mmm, Hershey's chocolate spread. Now we're talking. I'll take gulp of that right there and I'm going to put it on our top bun and we're going to try to spread this chocolate spreads pretty thick so we're going to take this Hershey's chocolate spread and we're going to put it all over the top of our graham crackers here. Ooh, yeah, get on there. Mm. Mm. That Hershey's chocolate spread's pretty good stuff. I'm liking that. There we go. 
Mm. Mm. Oh man. Bacon s'mores cheeseburger on the way. This can go in the trash, this little top, and this can go back in the fridge. Ooh, I smell bacon. cook for a little bit longer <laughs> but take a look at the top bun to our bacon s'mores cheeseburger it has the graham crackers it has the chocolate spread on top of some graham crackers and underneath the graham crackers and chocolate spread we have some creamy jiff peanut butter so we're not gonna have to worry about this top bun for a minute because we got like two three more things due to the burger before it's done mm. this is the kind of burger that Homer Simpson or Peter Griffin from Family Guy would like this is the kind of burger that screams out to every fat kid inside of us that says, yes, give me it now. So I want to go ahead and set the bun down on top of my cup here while we wait for that burger to get finished here. That bacon looks pretty cooked. I like that. On the chewier side, not too crispy, not too chewy. It's what I like. All right, so let's take a look at our burger patty so far. There's the Oscar Mayer thick cut bacon. Cooked to chewy, crispy perfection. Seasoned with a little bit of brown sugar. Now what we're gonna need to put on top of this is some mozzarella cheese and some marshmallows. We'll do the bananas last because uh, that way the banana will stick to the gooeyness of the marshmallow. Now, what we're going to do now is add our cheese. Mozzarella cheese is really good. 
it's the cheese with the most melty consistency. So like if you want cheese pull on your sandwiches and you want a cheese that melts really good, mozzarella cheese is where it's at, baby. And this is also a very, very, very mild cheese. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's a very, very, very mild cheese. And there's a bit of creaminess to it that I think will complement the marshmallows nicely. Of course, I've had marshmallows and peanut butter on a pepperoni pizza, no bullshit. And it was all right, you know. I took a Red Baron pepperoni pizza and tore up some marshmallows, put it around the pepperoni, and then did a couple gobs of peanut butter on top and baked it at 420 minutes or 420 blah, degrees, and then baked it for 18 minutes is what I meant to say. Yeah, 18 minutes, 420 degrees, you already know. The magical temperature for cooking pizza perfectly in a magical time. Just that, the perfect combo right there. And you want perfectly cooked pizza every time, and you're getting a frozen pizza, or you're making a pizza, and you're putting your pizza in the oven. I'm telling you, 420 degrees for 18 minutes gives you the perfect pizza cook every time hmm I'll put just a pinch more of that mozzarella on top there we go that's a lot of cheese baby now we're talking do a layer do a layer of cheese right there Oh, uh, man. Do a layer of cheese right there, just like that. That is beautiful. Go back in the fridge. And now we're going to put something else on top of our cheese. Marshmallows. It wouldn't be a s'mores bacon cheeseburger without some marshmallows. And you don't need that many marshmallows neither. Got some marshmallows from Jet Puffed, not a sponsor. Craft marshmallows, baby. It's gonna take about, yeah, that'll do. I'm gonna take four marshmallows and we're gonna tear them in half. And we're gonna pile them on top of the cheese. <laughs> Marshmallow trying to escape on us. I don't think so, Scooter. All right. And God damn it, get on there. You piece of shit. Hmm. No, you don't. Get back on there. Now, at this point, you might just have to, like, take the marshmallows, all four of them, tear them up into pieces, and stick them to each other on top. Because marshmallows are naturally sticky, so this gives you some advantage.
this will give you some advantage when making this burger is that this will give you some advantage when making the bacon s'mores cheeseburger the marshmallow sticks together so I want to microwave this so all the marshmallow and cheese melts on top of this bacon and on top of this burger patty and this burger is just about done yo look at that all the bacon the mozzarella cheese the marshmallow oh yeah this bacon s'mores cheeseburger is coming together very beautifully if I do say so myself pure unadulterated junk food at its finest We'll give it about 44 seconds. We'll see how that do. We'll see how that do. Go ahead and put our marshmallows back up one more time. Craft jet puffed marshmallows. Deliciousness. Now again, all that is just free advertising for the fine folks who make the delicious junk food that we love to enjoy so much. We'll hit it for the 34 seconds now. We went from 44 to 34. We'll see how that do. I dropped a piece of raw bacon on the floor, so I'm going to use Kleenex to pick it up. You see right there? Yeah, no. Get it. The marshmallow melts, but now it's coming off the sandwich. Hold on. Mm. Mm. Look at that mess. All the marshmallow and cheese melted on top. Mm. Oh my God, yes. Yes, like all the marshmallow and cheese melted together. Oh my God, mm, the perfect amount right there. Holy shit, yes. Now look at that Facebook and YouTube. You can see all the marshmallow and mozzarella cheese just melted to the patty. Oh my God, that is awesome. And last but not least, we're going to have a banana. We're going to add some banana slices to it. This is probably going to be the only health, this is probably going to be the healthiest thing on this burger. Mm. Hold on a second.